Hello everybody, I'm Brian Weintraub and welcome back to my series of YouTube how-tos. Holiday treats are an important annual tradition, and just because your visitation rights are limited to two supervised hours every other Wednesday doesn't mean you can't have some holiday treats waiting for the kiddos right when they walk in the door. See kids? Daddy's house is fun! While returning to the single men's shelf as a damaged return can bring with it a sense of liberation and independence, it also means doing some things you never thought you'd do. Like seriously consider ordering a Japanese body pillow on Amazon.com. Or baking brownies! Today's how-to is going to teach you how to bake brownies so good, they'll swear they were made by mom. Until they taste the tears. First, you're going to need a couple of things. Brownie mix. I like to go for a name brand on this one, rather than one of those generic knockoffs. A brand you can trust. Trust is such an important factor in selecting the base for your brownies, because without trust you've got nothing. And once that trust has been severed, no matter how sorry you are, how much you swear it was a one-time thing and it meant nothing and it will never happen again, you can never get that trust back. One egg. Be careful with the egg. It's fragile and delicate, much like a relationship. If a crack starts to form, it will likely spread and poison the egg until it rots and begins to smell of death and decay and betrayal. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is a triglyceride extracted from a plant. Next, put the brownie mix, the egg, the egg, and the vegetable oil in a mixing bowl. You're also going to need a mixing spoon. Since I just realized I do not have a mixing spoon, nor any spoons for that matter, because I guess our wedding china fell onto her side of the community property ladder, I will be using chopsticks. This is going to take a while. Part of the fun of making brownies is licking your mixing utensil. While most experts advise against eating food that contains raw eggs, that's just an old wives' tale. Eat up! <laughs> Next, Get an 8x8 baking pan, an 8x8 baking pan, an 8x8 baking pan. God damn it, Sarah! Looks like I'm gonna have to use this old cookie sheet to make my brownies, which is not ideal, but I have to make the brownies. I have to! Okay. Pour the brownie mix onto the sheet like so. Oh Jesus, what a mess. Next, you're ready to put them in the oven. Preheat to 375 degrees and place in the oven for 40 minutes. Now you've got some time to kill, so curl up with a good book or watch a favorite movie to help the time pass. Would you wait around to find out if it's just a necklace or if it's sex and a necklace or if, worst of all, it's a necklace and love? They gave you everything! <laughs> Now you're ready to take your brownies out of the oven. Not bad, I guess they're just a little round. I mean, it's all about the taste, right? Let your brownies cool, and then it's time to slice them up. Sarah, it's Brian. I made brownies for the kids. What time are you bringing them? What do you mean they're not coming? What do you mean they don't like being here? It does not smell! You smell! Hello? Cut deeply and deliberately into the brownies. Create metaphorical wounds that will never heal. Ruin them for anyone else who Most grocery stores sell pre-baked brownies and cookies. They often taste just as good as the homemade kind. This has been the Divorce Dad's Guide to Holiday Treats. And until next time, keep surviving.